Hey, boss man. Sir. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is R33 GTR day. You ready for the first mod? Oh, I'm ready. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Let me take a step back. Woo! GTR boys, baby. You know. All right, guys. I didn't film this, but I got KJ a little gift for the 33. This was supposed to be for the S14 right in the corner, but KJ, let's do a little Ooh. unboxing for the vlog. Here Ooh, it is. This is. Nice. This is KJ's Look new the color Vertex steering wheel. Man, I hope my sweaty hands won't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys know, the 33 GTR came with this ugly steering wheel and those got to go as well. So, I think it's right that the first mod for the 33 is steering wheel. Yes, sir. Very easy first mod, but don't worry. We have a few things that we want to do with the 33 GTR as well today. Look at the headlights. Those things look absolutely disgusting. Usually we sand and we buff it and it gets it all out, but it always comes back. So we're gonna actually see if we can make the paint on this car look better, restore these headlights a little bit. And honestly, I think we should give you guys a full walk around of the car as well. We didn't really get to show you guys much because the last video focused on surprising KJ with the car. Well, KJ, let's get to it. Step one. What are we doing? Take off this. <laughs> yep. There you go. Oh, that looks good already. New Vertex steering wheel is on. Now for the finishing piece. There we go. Gold Vertex horn button is on. Now, actually, this is your car. Test it, KJ. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get it. Let's go. First mod is officially done. You know what? Since we're here, KJ, is it okay if I take this off? Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't record it, but KJ said, actually leave it. So I remember which gear is which. It's the same. Look, it says one, two, three, four, five. Reverse. It's the same as any other car, KJ. All right, KJ, pick your choice. Mm, mm, mm. Pick your poison. Which one, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? I like this one. All right, we got the Lost Royalty shift knob for KJ. Shout out to them. All right. Mm, you like that? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's not how you install shift knobs? <laughs> there we go, guys. The new Lost Royalty shifter is on. Next thing that's got to go is this. But what do you guys think? This steering wheel is much better, right? Usually we throw these away, but you know what? Uh, order anything off of our website and we're going to throw it into a random order today. All right, let's take the 33 GTR to go buy all the detailing stuff. Hop in the bag, big boy. Let's see how much room the GTR has. How tall are you, Justin? Six foot. Six foot, huh? Like six foot tall or six foot down there? <laughs> got more room than the 34 in here. Dude, look at his head. The GTR can fit a tall ass dude in there. Surprisingly, the R33 GTR actually has a lot of room, look. What the? And with KJ driving? <laughs> Hold up, it is warm today. Let's have the AC on, yeah? Ah, much better. <laughs> that sounds so good. <laughs> yeah, push down. There you go. <laughs> so, it's a skyline. What we do is that. <laughs> Skylines make that noise. Trust me. I'm a Skyline owner right now. True. Let's see how much a full tank is on the 33. 55. You say 55? I say 50. 60. Oh, he says 60. Justin says 60? 
What'd you say that? California prices, that's why. Oh shit, look, watch, watch, watch. 50 right here. Oh, 55, 55. Jesus Christ, this uh, thing's not stopping. Uh, what? What? 63. Damn, just in one, bro. Well, guys, now you guys know. 63 bucks to fill up the 33 GTR. I guess the 33 has a bigger tank than the 32. The 32 only costs like 40, 45 bucks. Here in California, at least. Heavy ass door. Bro, oh, look at this. The 33 is a tank. What the fuck? The wrong one. <laughs> Other side food? Right there. <laughs> there you go. Shit, my bad. <laughs> oh, fuck! God damn it. Yeah, make a look. Oh, they're like hella confused now. <laughs> the orbital polisher is legit sold out everywhere. So, lucky for us, Randy Nguyen has an extra one that he's willing to let us borrow. So we're gonna go pick that up and get started on trying to bring back the paint on the 33. It's full sleeping. What? <laughs> As we're back at the shop, and here are some things that we got from Randy. We've got the orbital polisher right here, and oh, that's a use pad, but this one's still pretty good. And this. Now let me show you guys the paint on the 33. If you look up close, there are a lot of scratches. Car doesn't look too bad, but when you get to the rear end of the car, right over here, it looks like someone wet sanded this area, and back here, there's a lot less gloss. So, let's see if we can bring back this paint, even just by a little bit. We're no detail shop, but with the right tools, hopefully we can make this thing just look that much better. First things first, we're gonna have to clay bar the entire car to get off all of the dirt and grime. You guys can hear that? If you hit everything correctly, it should be nice and smooth and you shouldn't hear anything. We've got a lot of work to do today, so let's do it. All right, boys, you guys got your clay bar? All right, let's get it. Make sure to keep the car lubricated, okay? That's how it's gonna work. The car and the clay bar. Get it nice and wet, like so, and get to work. The entire car has been clay barred. Look at that. Barely hear nothing. We should be able to take off the rest of it with the orbital polisher. All right, KJ, this is your car. You're gonna do the work. I'll probably work on the headlight. We're gonna wet sand this and I'll hit it with some clear coat. But, here we go. We're gonna go one right there, one there, and one there. I'll show you how to do it first. I may be doing this incorrectly, so just in case any detail guy is watching, don't hate on me too much. Oh yeah, you wanna have this over your shoulder, like this, so you don't scratch the car. The paint's not that good, so we don't care. We're gonna repaint the car. But, let's get this on everything. You wanna apply some pressure, maybe five to 10 pounds. And don't stay on an area too long, because you can burn the clear coat or the paint or whatever. So, ready? You wanna go sideways, and then up and down, okay? Detailing the car, the headlights are mine to bring back to life. Let me give you guys a quick close up of the 33 headlight. It's all yellow, it's all hazy. I'm gonna go through, sand this, and hit it with some 2K clip. The headlight's not too bad, it's just a little hazy. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a thousand grit, we're gonna move our way up to 1500, and then we're gonna finish it off with 2000.
headlights are done. Don't mind the haziness. I hit everything with 2000 grit. And right over here, we've got some 2K clear. So this 2K clear is very special because it has like a hardener and it has a shelf time of two days once you activate it. So there we go. We've activated it. Shake it for like two minutes and it should be good. All right, we're ready. And the 2K clear is very harmful to inhale. So always make sure to wear protection, all right? Condoms. I'll be right back. All right, all strapped up, let's go. There's no going back, so. What the, that looks good already. That's literally the first coat. We'll come back and we'll do three total. Okay guys, Tony actually has a tip for you guys. If you have a front lip that is faded and black. Or it can be like window trim. You can use a uh, tire trim dressing. Yep, and it'll turn it black, right? Yep. That shit looks crazy. Look, let me take a quick step back. That thing was disgusting right before this, but look, sheesh. I sprayed on the third and final layer on the headlight and it's KJ's first time seeing this. I have it in here. It's still wet, but come on in. Ready? Take it off. Ooh. Fire. Look, it's still wet, but that's three coats of 2K clear. What do you think? <coughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> yeah. We're gonna let it dry for 24 hours and we'll put it back on the 32. So we will see you guys in 24 hours. KJ's done buffing the entire car as well. Car looks good, huh? Yep. Okay guys, we'll see you guys in 24 hours. We'll put everything together and show you the finished product. All right guys, KJ just left and look, the clear coat is completely gone from this. I'm gonna see if the 2K clear can bring this back to life. You think it can? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, 2K clear coat's magical. Let's go find out. It is the next day, guys. KJ, how does the 33 look? Dude, that's so nice. It looks amazing. Way right? better, bro. Way so, better. I've actually been looking at the car the entire day, and I am so glad that we picked up the 33 in the condition we got it. Should I just tell them how much we got it? We got it for a really good deal. You know what? I'll just tell you guys. Anyways, the 33 GTRs are going for like $50,000 plus. We actually got the car for $35,000 flat. $15,000 cheaper because the owner just wasn't too happy with selling the car because the paint wasn't in perfect condition. Mm -hmm. Here it is, guys. The R33 GTR with the new headlights all done. Paint correction as well. I never realized how yellow the GTR looked. Me too. You killed it, dude. I only did the headlights. This is KJ's car, so I had KJ detail the entire thing. Let me take you guys up for a close-up. On the door, there were so many, what would you call it? It was just like, yellow stains, right? Yeah, like small marks. And there was absolutely no shine on the mirrors. In the back, all of the shine has returned to the bumper. Let me give you guys a close-up of the wing. There were scratches all over in the rear quarter right here. Someone went ahead and wet sanded it, and we also brought that back to life. Dude, you killed it. Good job. Dude, I'm so happy. This is actually starting to really look like your car. I came in today, and I just saw KJ cleaning up everything, getting all the little details nice and clean, and the front lip, too, with the tire shine. Looks amazing. What do you guys think about the 33 GTR? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys think the car looks amazing, give this video a thumbs up. Why did I ever think that this was the ugliest of all of the Skylines? I think the front end actually looks amazing. Guys, I think I'm gonna say it. This front end actually looks better than the front end of the 32. Is it? Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying that. The 32 is my absolute favorite out of the 32, the 33, and the 34. And once you get up close, you know, I love this front end, don't get me wrong, but there's just something about this front end. It's a little bit more modern, but it's still just right. Well, KJ, I can't wait to see what you do with the car. That is a wrap for today's video, guys. If you guys are excited and are ready for some R33 GTR content, go down, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Peace.
Thank you.